Hello, I am super excited today to share with you how you can come up with a positioning tagline using ChatGPT in a very short period of time. What this means is that you can get a first draft of the tagline that will tell the world what you do and why it matters. And that is gold. Uh, that will get you a lot of places. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a ton packed into that you can pack into five words or less. And these are the elements that you want to pack in there. You don't have to put every single one of these in there, but you want to put at least um, as many as you can, frankly. And so based on these, uh, we can come up with a template to put into ChatGPT. And this is the template here. So you're going to copy paste that, put it into ChatGPT. It's in the description for the video. Um, and my last qualifier before we begin is just that this demonstration is super, super easy and quick. But the part of this that takes the long time is actually getting the information and, and making the decisions that you need to make to actually fill out this template. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Because positioning is about making decisions. It's not about wordsmithing, uh, common uh, misconception. So you can see that over here in ChatGPT, I have put in the uh, template and I've also put in the first question. So the first question is going to be, um, who do you want to unseat? Who do you want to target as a competitor to change the conversation in the market or gain market share or what have you? Who do you want to unseat uh, in the next year? And there are probably uh, a few of you who are going to say nobody, no company does what I do. Fair enough, but put in the other option that people have to what you do, whether it's manual work or status quo or whatever. Describe that competitor. And next, you're going to try to figure out the uh, or put in your differentiation against that competitor that you have chosen. You can put in as many differentiators as you want, doesn't really matter. Um, the next thing you're going to do is make a decision about the target audience that you want to capture. And in this one, it's really key to ensure that you're not looking too long term. If you have a goal to get to a certain, um, I don't know, revenue figure, and it requires the attention of this one target audience, pick that target audience. Don't pick the one that you're, you know, once you become Google, <laughs> you're going to be targeting them down the road. No, you are trying to use this tagline to say what you do and why it matters to get sales, to get uh, yourself um, in the right kind of situation with the right kind of people today. So pick the audience you need to win today and make that decision. Moving right along, um, this is where you can describe the issues of the competitor that you've chosen. So be very concrete here. Pick the pain, the actual visceral day-to-day -day pain. It takes too long. It hurts physically. It's... Um, Annoying, I don't know, anything, uh, but be very concrete about what that pain is because then what you're going, what you're promising is an alternate reality free of those pains. And here you also want to be super concrete. Um, and again, you're just you're just typing in answers to, to chat GPT. So I mean, my example here, I've used a company called Dakugami and um, Zoom is in the way there. So uh, yeah, so Dakugami, I've just, uh, the CMO let me interview him for this experiment. And so, I mean, you've seen, I've put my answers in here and we're all the way down to the alternative reality. You're just putting answers into chat GPT, okay? Same as I've done. So describe your alternate reality in as concrete terms as you can, and then describe how your differentiation alleviates that pain. So what is it about, that's this is the hardest question, but what is it about what you do uh, that's so unique that then resolves that pain that you are getting from the competitor you've chosen. Lastly, you're gonna put in some of the categories you're related to. Are you a bagel? Are you a muffin? Are you email security? Are you cloud security? Um, you can name as many as you want. You put it into chat GPT and you'll see it spits some stuff out here. Um, 
And you can ask it to focus on any other uh, elements that you'd like to kind of um, re review, uh, revise the answers that it's giving you, right? So I focus, asked it to focus on an alternate reality. I've asked it to mention AI. And what I actually chose was this, um, that it was from documents to data instantly. And so this is what I came up with in my example from documents to data instantly. And again, this tells you the what you do, why it matters. That is what we are creating here. ChatGPT can give you a good example. And for the subhead, you very, very simply uh, put in the same information, but this time ask it to create an entire sentence descriptor. And you can ask it to shorten down, um, right? Like, so using only one sentence, you can ask it to pick one sentence and just say, make this clearer and it'll make it clear. So that's how I arrived on the second one here. So that is how you can use ChatGPT to do really the, um, what used to be maybe the harder part. Now it's the easy part. Now your hard part is making the decisions that you need to make uh, to actually input into the system. Uh, good luck. I hope it works well for you.